TV star From Philadelphia to Hollywood Boulevard This ain't no music video Oh, 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 take my hand, we'll go Yay, all right, another adult film star turned thespian used to go by the name Brad Benton but that was back in the day now Dylan Vox which is actually his real name stars in not one but two of the biggest original hit TV series on here TV Dante's Cove and The Lair take a look we are here with Dylan Vox hi baby hi what's going on how are you what's going on Philadelphia in the house all right, just for the record, what are you doing in Philadelphia this evening? I am here to promote uh, the new tel the season two of um, my new television show called The Lair um, on Here Networks. Awesome uh, vampire soap opera, crazy fun, and um, yeah. You know, similar to Colton and very different uh, to Colton, you changed careers. Um, you crossed over to mainstream. How is the you know transition going? I always feel like Kelly Clarkson on American Idol when she's asked about that. Like when they talk to her about American Idol, she's like, "Yeah, I did that a really long time ago, and I've done a lot of shit yeah, yeah, since yeah, then." Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I kind of feel like that way. I, mean, I had a great time. Um, it helped me get through law school. Um, I met a lot of amazing people in the industry and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was just time to move on. It's changed so much. It's so like like everyone does it like yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. it's not really very special it's not um and, and i kind of like that about the about the industry you know and right. with the big productions and the big studios and stuff like that i know so much is on internet and yeah it's yeah. a lot different I mean, you started i didn't know this in dante's code right you started your um car well not your acting career but you started on dante's cove yes. as colin right yeah and you know, when the lair, you got to explain this because now you're Colin, but a different Colin on the lair. Like, are you in, are you still in both? I'm actually not sure how that happened either. Um, I was actually doing, um, I was doing a show, uh, Debbie Does Dallas, the musical, and uh, some people had come and they came and saw it and they were like, dude, he's really cool, he's funny, and I can take my clothes off. So. Um, which is always helpful. I, I went in and read, and um, it wasn't actually supposed to be a very big part. And they really liked me. They were like, can you dye your hair blonde? I was like, to be on TV? Sure. Um, and now four years later, my hair is always yeah, blonde every three hair. months. I, I guess they really liked the concept behind that part of the show, the layer part. And um, they called and they were like, hey, come in. And I had to read again. So but they were like, call and um, we're like, we're kind of developing a vampire show under the same vein and I was like sweet oh that sounds awesome I really like working for them because they try to do things that are like a little bit abnormal you know we don't just go in and make like gay movies that are just about like just coming out or just having AIDS or just having you know this the right. typical right. I mean this is about vampires there it's is no yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, just yeah, like who absolutely. gives a shit right. you don't like have to walk away with a message and I think that sometimes that's really important especially in gay culture is to um, you know just have fun not take things yeah. so seriously just realize hey we're just like everybody else except right. we bite people and drink their blood right. you also um, write a little bit for some websites yeah, yeah? Yes. Do, you, do you enjoy that? It's pretty cool. My undergrad's in journalism. Um, I just love sports, which are awesome. So when uh, Gay Wired was opening up their um, sports uh, page, GaySports.com, they didn't have a lot of content. And I was like, hey, that's what I do. I can yeah. totally do that. So, But you're really, though, you think, you're thinking, like I'm thinking your first passion is still acting. Like you really. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, 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 took, I took the California bar. I mean, I could practice law, and a lot of people said, I can't believe you're not doing um, that, but this is what I want to do. I've, I, I, I really enjoy it. I've gotten some great opportunities um, this show, but I've also done like a whole bunch of other films. I've got a new film coming out called Home Wrecker. So far, I'm doing okay. So um, I'll practice law when I'm John McCain's age. Dylan Box, thank you so much, honey. Last question: Tell the boys in Philly, are you single? These days. Am I single? Oh my God, would you date me? <laughs> So, <laughs> absolutely, I'm single. Um, I'm like a, I'm like a couple hour type of boyfriend. They're like, oh my god, I love you. Jesus Christ, you talk a lot. It's all right, later. I'm gonna go out for latte. There you go, guys. Um, all right, I think we have to leave because I think we're sort of gonna get arrested. We're about to be shot here in the lobby. No, ma'am, it's okay. No, no, not not yet. Yeah. Okay. All right.
Hotel Rwanda here or something. <laughs> All right. Say hi to Philly. What's going on, Philly? Love you. You're down. Um, thanks for watching and uh, tune in to here. Definitely. All right. After another short break, Jervis is taking you to the AIDS walk. We'll be right back.